everybody and welcome back. It's episode three of the Mash Maker Challenge today. And today we're going to be brewing Liquid Swords Throwback IPA. So I'm not going to waste too much time talking here. I'm going to get that flame going, heat up that strike water. Then I'll show you what the ingredients are. I'm going to mill the grains and then we're going to mash in. So let's get going. Here are the ingredients for today's brew day. Liquid Swords Throwback IPA. This beer is technically a smash. So today we're using floor malted Maris Otter, 10.5 pounds. Only one hop, but two additions. So East Kent Golding Hops at T minus 90. 2.5 ounces of that. East Kent Golding Hops at T minus 30. 1.5 ounces of that. I've also got some brewing salt additions today. So I've got 5 grams of Epsom salt and 4 grams of gypsum. And of course we can't forget this, which is going to be the hot scotchy for today. And a Maris Otter hot scotchy is one of my favorites. I've drawn off the wart and we're at exactly six gallons. This is a 90 minute boil. Uh, so we're gonna end up with a little less than five gallons. And my pre-boil gravity is 1052. Uh, according to the recipe, we should be at a final gravity or an OG of 1060. So I think we're gonna hit that pretty much right on the nose after the boil. We are at a boil. 2.5 ounces of East Kent Goldings is going in for 90 minutes. Here we are, 30 minutes left in the boil. And we got a 1.5 ounce addition of East Kent Goldings. I'd just like to take a quick time out from the brew day um, to thank everybody who has subscribed to the channel. I appreciate the support. Uh, it's been going pretty well so far. We're almost up to 100 subscribers, so that's great. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, in the future, we're going to be doing some more uh, build projects. I'm going to be building a fermentation chamber, and I'll show you guys how to build one of these a little six pack carrying case to take with you to parties or whatever. Um, I built one the other day. I'm gonna build some more and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty simple and easy. I hope you're enjoying the videos as much as I'm enjoying making them, brewing all the beers and doing all the build projects for you guys. I really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. The boil is done and it's time to check for final gravity. I'm going to get this all cooled down into my carboy and pitch some yeast. All right, let's look. Absolutely perfect. I hit 1060 right on the mark. So we're good to go.
Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, April 11th, 9.35 a.m. Yesterday's brew day was outstanding. Went very well. I left at 6 a.m. this morning, and I'm on my way to the Casanova Logger Caves to meet up with a very special guest. We're going to do tasting notes on the neck tat that says evil black IPA that I brewed in episode one. I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be pretty cool. So normally I do the end of the brew day wrap up with a beer in my basement bar, but today I'm heading to Hudson, Wisconsin. All right, so I made it. And this is the special guest. Whoa, so special. It's Chip Walton, everybody. Yo. So this is pretty exciting for me. Uh, I saw episode two of Brewing TV, I don't know, seven years ago. And uh, it's always been a uh, bucket list visit item for me to come here. So what a better way to come and visit the Casanova Lager Caves than with Chip Walton tasting the first beer that I brewed in this challenge. There it is, the mash maker <laughs> book. So Net -net. I'm gonna let you taste it first. It's very good though. You can taste that like that pine, that Simcoe kind of like punch to it. Cascades, Chinook, Amarillo. There's a bunch of stuff. Yes. Yeah. But Cascade, it's, Chinook, yeah. Amarillo. Well, I like it because it's not um, whether it's from separately steeping those mashes or uh, those dark grains. They're not. It's not roasty hardly at all. For no, as dark as it is. Definitely got a coffee taste to it. Mm -hmm. So coffee, a little bit of chocolate on, on the backside, and a little bit of sweetness like after the hops kind of go away. It's very piney though, it's kind of like pine resin, chocolate covered orange with pine resin on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the numbers, so it's 8%-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit all the numbers pretty much perfectly that day. And uh, everything went very well. Yeah, it's very clean. Yeah, it's a... I mean, being it's, that it's a dark beer, you can still actually kind of get some light through it. Yeah, it's not like stout black. Yeah, it's not cloudy or anything like that. I think Dawson would be happy with this one, so I sent a couple of uh, bottles along to send to him. Mm. Yes, yeah, definitely hop forward mm -hmm. to begin, but then all that roastiness and that little bit of chocolate kind of comes in on the backside. And I'm, I'm gonna brew this again for sure, uh, just to have it around the house. I got two two cases right now, but no! I, I brought twelve bottles for everybody, so I'm down to a case and a half. Down the clown. Yeah, I already have. I'm gonna have to brew again tomorrow just to keep the stock up. <laughs> <laughs> but you just brewed yesterday. Oh my gosh. Well, anyhow, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Thank you very much, Chip, uh, for driving a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Casanova. Thanks. Yes, thanks to Casanova for opening up the cave to do this. This is just incredible. I mean, I'm here. This is really cool. Um, so, cheers, everybody. 